Hey guys, how are you doing? As you can see, I'm actually trying to finish up my build here and I realized that I can share some interesting things with you guys with regard to this little boy over here. This is the Aqualis uh, fountain uh, effect from the Aqua computer. So what happens is the return loop goes from the center and there's no other way, it will just go up the top and then come down his fountain here yeah. it's a bit fog up so later on i'll try to clear the fog to let you all have a clearer view of how it looks like actually so in a short introduction um it's not actually how my loop will run actually this is the outlet it's supposed to go up the radiator and go to the other radiator but um just for testing wise i actually push this tube down to the EK Predator. Um, yep, it's actually covered by the uh, paper towel because I'm doing a little bit of leak testing here at the same time. So, yep, let's see how one or two DDC pump will work. And um, the DDC pump inside the EK Predator is actually uh, M it's also a Swiftet MCP35X. So yeah, I cheated a little bit, but uh, that's how it works. I don't think I'll put a lower voltage DDC pump inside my loop. It's not going to work very well. So this is the SwiftTech MCP35X. This is inside the Predator also is the MCP35X. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We will use the Aquero 6 to control the two DDC pump uh, I'll switch one off most probably I'll switch the Predator off and because no one actually use a Predator to or seldom use a Predator to actually run in a custom loop so this one DDC pump later on I'll switch two on then we'll have them in series okay before we start play the settings the pump speed and so on we need to go through how the this pump actually responds to the PWM. Uh, it doesn't mean that you set the PWM to 100%, the pump will run at 100% speed. Uh, it doesn't work that way. So it really depends on how it works on the specific pump itself. So this is the MCP35X uh, graph. As you can see at 12%, all the way to 0 to 12%, the pump starts to respond. At, uh, at the lower tier and at about 75% that's actually at the tip at 75% that's actually the pump will be starting to run at a really at 100% so it doesn't mean like I say you put it at 100% means it runs 100% not necessary so at 75% the pump is already running at 100% so without further ado let's start as you can see, actually, this thing forks up pretty fast. So I have to use my trusty compressed air uh, quickly to let you have a view. So this is currently running at 75% PWM. So the pump is actually running at 100%. So the effect is actually not bad, given that actually the gradient is uh, it's quite... Yeah, the, the fountain is actually quite smooth. To a certain degree so yeah but uh, running at 100% is a bit noisy and it's actually quite pointless so we will try to tone it down and see the back let's see go down to let's go down to 60 per PWM at 60 Still a bit noisy though So that's a 60 for you Hope it's clear enough for you to see yeah, And now we go down to 50 50 is a nice 40 to 50 PWM is actually a uh, very nice margin in my opinion of things because uh, 
First off, the pump actually runs quiet. And second, there's actually more than enough in my opinion of uh, flow. And when you do a custom loop like that, for me personally, is I would love quiet <laughs> environment. That kind whereby you can hardly hear a thing while you actually game or something. Okay, here we have 40. Okay, it doesn't fork up that much when you reach about 40%. Forty percent. I'll zoom in a little bit. Hmm. She's quite neat and tidy. If you see carefully, forty percent. The f it's not bad actually, in my opinion. It's actually not bad. Okay, at 40. Alright, so let's see how two pumps will work. Okay, what we have now is two pumps running at 40% PWM. And if you can notice, actually, the It's actually much stronger definitely. This one is a no-brainer because they are running a series and it actually helps a lot in their flow. And yep. Let's move up to 50. Okay, so here you have two pumps running at 50% per PWN. In my opinion, it's actually stronger than one pump running at 100%, as in 75% PWN, 100% pump speed. So, okay, 50% seems like a good spot. Let's move on. Okay, both uh, pump running at 60% is where things get start to get crazy. Fork up so fast that you can't really keep up. But well, the effect is very nice. But so is um, well, you have that much splashing. Prepare for oh, air to actually enter back in the loop. Although I don't see any at the moment, but uh, well, potentially there can be. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's two pump running at sixty for you. Let's try full speed how it works. Holy cow, two pumps running at 75%. So two pumps running at max speed. If you can hear actually the it's actually pretty noisy. Maybe once a while you, you want to enjoy the I don't know, enjoy the fountain effect. Uh, then you start to do that. But yeah, it is crazy. I probably won't run that. I most likely won't. So yeah. There you have it, two pounds running at 100%. <laughs> okay, conclusion time for this product. Would I recommend this product? Mm, boils down to personal preference. Some people want, when they heard the, the thing actually cause fountain effect, they like, all right, man, I'm going to have a waterfall effect, but we have to manage our expectations. So if you really want a waterfall effect, in my opinion, you probably have to go two pumps. Or maybe have to cut down on the number of 90 degree bands and not like what I did. Uh, I think you can still achieve a very nice uh, waterfall effect, so called. But if you are running one pump, so here's one pump. I went, I actually make it back to one pump itself. So if you really want a very strong effect, you probably have to go above. 60% uh, PWM, which will make the pump run at 80% uh, but the noise effect, mm, is it worthwhile? Uh, still boils down to preference. Does the effect worth your time? Mm, boils down to reference. So what I have here, my pump setting is actually at 45% and I I think this is a little bit of the sweet spot as I as described earlier about 45% uh, 
uh, you still can enjoy a little bit of the, the fountain effect and it's not that noisy yeah running a PW, uh, PWM at full speed for a pump I think it's a bit too noisy especially for a DDC but yeah there you have it personal preference really so yeah hope you enjoy the video thanks and that's it